Let's get to the big story now, which feels like a br uh, oof. It's like a broken, painful, screechy, scratchy record that just won't stop spinning. A local elected leader who won't stop sharing discriminatory things on his Facebook page. He just won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Something tells me that our loyal viewers are going to know who I'm talking about. It says taking office less than a year ago, he's been censured by his fellow board members. He's had a liaison duties stripped away from him. He's facing a recall campaign already. And now for the big reveal, it's Clackamas County Commissioner Mark Shaw. You already knew that. No one is surprised. This week, he posted yet another offensive meme on his public Facebook page. Here's Maggie Vespa. I found this deeply, uh, deeply hurtful. I felt uh, nauseous. I, I felt uh, physically, physically sick. Another round of condemnation by his colleagues and another round of calls to resign for Clackamas County Commissioner Mark Scholl. This time for a meme he posted on Facebook comparing COVID vaccine mandates to the persecution of Jewish people during the Holocaust. It asks, quote, Anyone see the parallel? We're not going to show you the meme. It's hateful and discriminatory. A rep for the Jewish Federation of Greater Portland called it appalling, offensive, and an affront to the memory of all who perished during the Holocaust. You have all received an email regarding a post made by Commissioner Scholl. At a meeting Tuesday, Scholl's fellow commissioners were horrified. I have family that are Jewish. I have family that are Muslim. I have family that are Christian and family that are Greek Orthodox, and anything that relates back to genocide, you know, just brings up a lot of pain. Commissioner Scholl, I want you to be aware mm -hmm. that not mm -hmm. only for the Jewish community, but for your colleagues and for the residents of Clackamas County, your speech has hurt us. Okay. Scholl doubled down. When civil liberty, liberties are restricted and we don't speak up to defend our neighbors who might be affected by those restrictions, then we end up with a slippery slope that could end up in a very bad situation. The routine all too familiar in Clackamas County. There's nothing in there that should be c construed as coming from a racist perspective. Back in June, Commissioner Scholl also doubled down after referring to vaccine passports as Jim Crow 2.0, a reference to segregation laws banned during the civil rights era. Months before that, constituents dug up a string of Islamophobic and racist posts again on Scholl's Facebook page. He has not responded to our multiple requests for an interview. Commissioner Sonia Fisher did. That Commissioner Scholl should, should resign. If the voters would have known about his racism and bigotry, I do not believe that they would have elected him. Calls for Scholl to resign echoed by local and state lawmakers, including Representative Rachel Prusak. My grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. By the end of the war, my grandfather had lost his wife, daughters, brothers, sisters, and he spent most of the war in a death camp. Prusak noted Scholl is not one of her constituents. She, like Fisher, says she's following the progress of a citizen-led campaign to recall him. Scholl has repeatedly used inflammatory and divisive rhetoric that feeds intolerance and hatred. It is unacceptable for an elected leader of his community. And when our leaders use this language, it signals to people in the community that the behavior is acceptable. So that last interview was all the more poignant because Prusak, you might remember, was targeted with anti-Semitic posters placed around Clackamas County earlier this year. Someone, it seemed, was mad that she was proposing gun safety legislation. And she says police never figured out who did it. But Dan, it's part of why she's speaking out now. And then also it's worth noting the timing of this is making it all the more difficult for people. We're in the midst of a few really important Jewish holidays, including Yom Kippur. That was just last week. Now, uh, Shawl is already facing a recall yeah. effort. So what's the uh, what's the status on that? So we checked in with them today and it's worth reminding people they had to legally wait six months until after his election before they could officially start their work. So that put them from November into May. But 
What's happened since May? Well, basically, I reached out and I asked them what they're doing, and they said that they're working to start gathering petitions or gathering signatures, I should say. Once they start that process, they have about three months to gather 40,000 signatures. Mm -hmm. So their staff are basically telling us they're working to make sure they're ready to get that many that quickly, and they hope to start in their words soon. They didn't want to say specifically when, but they did say in a statement today that this latest post is, quote, yet another confirmation of why Mark Scholl, in their words, is unfit to lead this county. All right, we'll keep paying attention to what's going on in Clackamas County. We will. Maggie, thank you. Sure.